In this video, I'm going to take you back in time and show you step by step how we built our adjustable solar ground mount. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share a full cost breakdown. Our array has 14 400 watt monocrystalline panels that we got from Signature Solar, and it's our primary array for our off grid solar system. The design is based around four 4x6 four by, by 10 foot pressure treated posts that we set in concrete. Each hole is spaced 8 feet apart and the holes have a diameter of about 16 inches and a depth of 4 feet. Many, many hours of digging later and I have all four holes done. The next thing I did was add a board across the bottom of each post to hold them at a depth of 42 inches. This left a gap of about 6 inches at the bottom of each hole. Then for each of the posts I added two more boards for bracing that let me position them and get them all plumb. The braces were secured temporarily with concrete stakes and deck screws. I also added a string line between the two end posts. This helped me align the posts vertically. The two center posts were a little low so I shimmed the boards that spanned the holes to lift them up and make them match the others. Now we were ready for concrete. We used four 80 pound bags for each hole. That was a lot of concrete. After waiting a few days for the concrete to cure, I started building the swing arms. They're made from two 2x6 two by, by 10 foot boards that sandwich sections of 4x6, which were cut down to 5.5 inches and then connected with deck screws. To attach them to the posts, I drilled a 7 8 inch hole through both 2x6 boards and through the posts. Then it was just rinse and repeat for the other three posts. At this point, I started adding strut channel between the arms. I used 12 gauge 10 foot super strut that I got from Home Depot and I attached them using lag bolts. Before I secured the strut channel, I used some paracord and eye bolts to pull the arms into square. Next, I added strut channel to the right side of each post and attached it with two lag bolts. And for the brace, I used 14 gauge half depth strut channel, then I used some 3 8 inch bolts and strut channel nuts to connect them together. And on the arm end of the brace, I drilled all the way through the center of one of the middle 4x6 spacers and used a 3 8 by 8 inch long carriage bolt with a torque washer. After that, I could lock the array into the fully horizontal position to make mounting the solar panels easier. So for securing the solar panels to the strut channel, I found a kit that includes both end clamps and mid clamps, but none of the ones that I found work that great with standard strut channel, since these are all in metric sizing, but I can show you how I made these work. So you can see I added this extra washer here, and I'll show you what it looks like when I don't use the washer and why I needed to add that. So without the washer, you can see this nut can just slip right through. I wasn't able to find any end clamps that worked with standard strut channel. So what I did is add a 5 16 by one and a quarter inch washer. And if you put that on, it spans the gap and prevents that nut from slipping through and you can really get this tight. And for the mid clamps, I wanted to be able to use the standard 3 8 inch strut channel nuts. So all I had to do was drill this out with a 3 8 inch drill bit. And then I'm using a 3 8 by two inch bolt with a lock washer. And then I can tighten it down. To adjust the array, all you have to do is disconnect the strut channel brace from each post, reposition the arms, and then tighten everything back down. And it's definitely easier if you have a second set of hands to help you lower everything at the same time. Let's jump into the costs. Lumber, 208. Concrete, 120. Strut channel, 570. Hardware, 180. For a total of $1,078, which I think is pretty hard to beat for the size. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Check out the description for a link to a free build guide on our website. 
and stay tuned for more off-grid videos coming up.